Hey everyone, how's it going? Hey Evil, I'm good. How are you doing? Hey Zervantes, or however you say that name. <laughs> Couple more minutes and I'll get going here. Voodoo's finishing his up. All right, hope person, hoping for. Uh, I'd love to get another Goddess Zoe, maybe another Puppeteer, some of the rare ones. I'd love a King Arthur actually. That'd be huge. I think King Arthur might be the only one I don't have so far. I have lots of gold books too after this. Let's get some volume going here. Some ambient music. All right, I think Voodoo is pretty much done. It's one o'clock, let's begin. glitched already. <laughs> it's already glitched. I haven't had any glitches in Arena. I'm not sure what you're talking about there. I haven't uh, really seen any of that. All right, one SS to begin. Three, come on, four. All right, no SS there. Yeah, I don't have any glitches in the arena. I'm not sure what you're talking about there. Oh, nice. SS Mystic. Nothing good. us there. Yeah, I'm not sure what, what's going on with your arena over there. I haven't seen any of that. Is it like lagging out or something? Or are you just getting beat by lower teams? That's not a good one. Yeah, I'm hoping they do something with Arena as well. I'm usually in the top 10 or 15 on Arena, but the rewards, yeah, they're not that great. You have to, like, finish in the top 5 to be able to get anything useful. Hey, thanks for the subscribe. Or follow, sorry. <laughs> Carsader, thanks. SS Jester. Yeah, top five, you get something good. You get the fragments for King Arthur, and I think King Arthur is going to be pretty strong, um, especially if they fix tanks. 
I think tanks just need to take a little bit more less damage than other people, and then I think they'll be fixed. I think that's all they literally need to do. They are working on uh, changing the arena, so I think they're trying to make it um, a little bit, you know, better rewards in there. So that'll be huge if they do. One SS. Hey, thanks, man. Appreciate it, Carsader. Yeah, Drock, I'm with you on that one. Um, I can't stand that you can't see how many phantoms you have and how many the max is. <laughs> Sometimes I like go to start something and it's like, your phantoms are full. And it's like, oh, great. They definitely need that. <laughs> All right, nothing good there. That's odd, Evil. Crystal Forge I thought was fairly easy. Just gotta have the Evos and the levels to be able to to be able to clear in there. Thompson, thank you for the follow. Appreciate it. Wow, three SS to start. All right, got a Sea Warrior, nice. Hey, Kronos, welcome. There's one SS. There's one. <laughs> Nothing good there. General Fire, he'd be decent if tanks were, were viable right now. <laughs> Oops, I started too early, my bad. I suffered for it. No SS. Oh, this guy's pretty good. Destroyer Vizier. He uh, hits pretty hard. How's everyone doing today? You guys like the Easter event? What do you guys think? Better than you thought? Worse than you thought? What do you guys think about the Easter event? Anyone? I got so many materials from that Easter event, even on my free-to-play account. I think it was pretty uh, pretty decent. No new content or anything, but the rewards were pretty good. Yeah. Nice.
Be happy if I get one rare phantom out of this whole thing. Usually out of 200 bucks you can maybe get one, but sometimes not. <laughs> Yeah, I'm with you, Drac, on that one. I think it was better than uh, than a raid's second year anniversary. Definitely a lot of materials I got from there. Especially on my free-to-play account. Hey, Kronos, just, um, just, you probably just want to buy Vigor. That's what more, most people buy with uh, diamonds. Um, basically, you just need to spend diamonds and you get rewards. Pretty easy. Good event. You get a lot of stuff from it, so. <laughs> yeah, I really have not been playing Raid as much. I came from Raid, and uh, once I got over here, I definitely um, I have not played as much. I've been enjoying this game a lot more. Another LOS, SS. I've so I've gotten so many SS uh, Lord of Shadows. It's been crazy. It's like one of my most common ones. As I say, Lee, too bad she was nerfed. Yeah, you definitely get a lot more uh, bang for your buck. Oh, I can probably turn my light on here. I don't know that that makes them any better. <laughs> another one, another ambassador of light. Cool yet. One more SS. Century Mage. Nice, that's, that's Zeus. Zeus is strong. I'm with you, Kronos. I played Raid for, um, I don't know, probably a year, year and a couple months. And uh, since this came out, I've been playing this game a lot more. Um, you get a lot more bang for your buck, that's for sure. I've always wanted to build uh, this guy after I ran some damage numbers. Uh, he could be pretty good. He's like a little mini, um, what's her name? to pay uh, Ancaris. He's like a mini Ancaris. Um, they nerfed Haley kind of in PvP. Um, she's still good. You really need a Headcracker set for her, the rune set um, for the stun, but they changed it so her extra attack only works on allied turns instead of enemy turns always. Um, 
before she would get an extra turn on enemies turns and she would go and just use her ability stun everyone she was like so broken but yeah they made it so only allied turns get her uh her extra turn Yeah, this game is a little bit more balanced. There's not as many uh, phantoms that just allow you to carry through the entire game. I mean, you do have, like, Goddess Zoe. She's really good. Carsader, um, what do you mean by crit rate? The ones that have the passive crit rate to the entire team? I think only Mystic has that, if I'm not mistaken, but I haven't... Scarlet Dragoness actually took me forever to find. I didn't get a Scarlet uh, Dragoness until I pulled like 800 bucks. <laughs> Do you know how often the refresh crystal shop? I don't. Um, it seems to be they'll either do it for, um, they'll either do it for events or just they'll swap it up. I think they try to do it once a month where they change um, what's in the crystal shop. They just took Zoe out. I'm surprised they didn't change any of the other phantoms in there. Hey, Eagle Girl. Hey, thanks. Glad you're watching my videos. Nice, another mystic. Yeah, this is the crit rate you were talking about. I'm only aware of his. But I haven't looked, uh, haven't looked that hard. What's the name of this zone again? I forget. This guy could be interesting because he has the, um, removing buffs from enemies. Hey, thanks, Ironheart. I'm glad you guys are enjoying it. Yeah, I noticed there's not really a lot of content creators that are making a lot of content for this game. You know, a lot of the other content creators, they really focus on raid. And, um, you know, I, a lot of, like me, like when I play a game, I want to watch a lot of content for that game. And it's kind of hard for this game. So that's kind of why I decided to start making uh, videos. And I've been trying to make them every day. I've been making at least, you know, six a week. So, hey, Taco, thanks for the follow. Appreciate it. That's that Zeus, nice. Oh, I guess that means I'm full. All right, give me a minute. Or not. Oh, that was just lag, okay. <laughs> I thought I was full. Hey, Taco, uh, I don't stream very often. I usually only stream when I have like 200 or so books I gotta pull. I need to set a day to stream weekly. I just haven't got around to it. Normally just focus on making YouTube videos. I try to get at least one out every day. Another SS Haley. <laughs> yeah, I'll set a day. I gotta figure a good day that works in my schedule so I can stream. Another Mystic. Man, that's like the fourth SS Mystic I've pulled. <laughs> yeah. Are you in Gallifrey too also? Hey, thanks, Eagle Girl. No problem. I'm uh, definitely been trying to make a lot of content. Oh, nice. Cool, Taco. Guess I should have known that, huh? Astral Clock. I was messing around with Astral Clock on my uh, free to play. <laughs> I 
Hey, Taco, while I got you here, is there a certain day that, um, I mean, a certain time that you do the, the gold, boast, uh, gold boost and, um, and like, the guild boss? Do you, like, announce those somewhere? I've never even been able to attack the, the guild boss. Or clan boss, whatever it's called. Yeah, there is a guild boss that you can do. Oh, the uh, rewards aren't good? Gotcha. Um, Astral Clock is interesting. She, um, they have the heal, the turn meter, and she, she also has the turn meter, she or he, whatever it is, has the turn meter uh, A1, which is kind of nice. So if you're uh, if you're doing it manually, it can actually be a really good attack, uh, attack absorb, which is pretty nice, but... I still think Lunar Godness is slightly better than Astral Clock, but there's a lot of SS. Oh, perfect. Cool. Another Sea Warrior. Um, we're summoning at Ertos Port. Is that what it's called? Port of Ertos? Port of something? I'll check in one second. Yeah, we're summoning in our uh, normal, uh, right here, Ertos Port. So if you, uh, you can see we're in the middle of the circle here. Yeah, I'm glad you got to join, Eagle. I, uh, yeah, it was kind of a last minute thing. I was like, oh, I got to get rid of all these books that I have here. So <laughs> I was like, all right, let's stream at one. Again, I'll set up a day one of these days here. Uh, so I'll stream at the same time, um, you know, every week. Another career. That makes me want to build, uh, build him. I did get these from the Easter promo. Yep, I uh, I wailed out a little bit. <laughs> I wanted to uh, get those skill ups for my uh, Goddess Zoe, so that's why I I think I bought like six of them. Nice. Another one. Yep, I wailed a bit. Alright, don't summon on top of me, otherwise I can't uh, summon. <laughs> you, you bought 11 of them? Nice, yeah, I, I think I got 6, maybe 7? Who'd you buy those for, Taco? Were you trying to get skill ups for uh, Goddess Zoe, or what? East Coast, thanks for the follow. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's why I was buying them, too. Can you pull in cars with books? Yes, you can. She's rare, uh, just like some of the other rare phantoms, but yes, you can. I think the only phantom in the game... 
that has any requirements is King Arthur, if I'm not mistaken. I think he can only be pulled by epic books. Other than that, I think everyone can get pulled from books. I have never pulled an Ancaris. I only got it for the purchase uh, Big Spender. I've pulled almost everyone else. I had to purchase a Puppeteer and I had to purchase a Goddess Zoe. Other than that, I've pulled everyone. Um, I do not have King Arthur yet, though. Another Mystic. Nice. I've been thinking about building out Mystic. He's kind of broken, though, a little bit right now. Yeah, Taco. I was pretty close to that as well. Because <laughs> I just came over here and coming from Raid and it was like, wow, you can actually get some stuff if you spend over here. And I think this game is still in beta, right? It hasn't had the full global launch yet. I would love to build out a Merlin. I just don't have any... Uh, I don't have any skills on uh, Merlin. Yeah, exactly, Taco. Perfect. So that'll be cool. Maybe they'll, we'll get some more people who will join. We'll get some more viewers to uh, watch my videos. <laughs> I know a couple of people said that they can't play it in their country yet, so it must be going by country. Yeah, I never had any luck making um, raid videos. I made a couple raid videos and they got like half the views that my Summoner's Glory videos did. So I just continued making uh, Summoner's Glory videos. There's so many people who make raid vi raid content, you know? There's like no one who makes Summoner Glory content right now, at least consistently. Thank you, Evil. Appreciate it. Nice. That's a lot of bucks. Yeah, I'm sure he's talking about Epic because he bought 11 packs. I've considered buying more too. I want to finish off my Zoe. I only got two into the the passive heal. I want to get two more in there.
Taco, I assume you uh, write off all those for your taxes, right? Write them off against your YouTube channel? You can buy them, um, Big Daddy. The, the $100 packs, I think I'm full now. The $100 packs have a skill up in it. Oh, okay. Yeah, you got. I guess you should have some profits before you write off. All right, I, I need uh, a minute here to sacrifice. I'm gonna try to write mine off on taxes and hope the IRS doesn't audit me. I'm just gonna say, hey, building my YouTube channel. My YouTube channel's not profitable yet, but no business is profitable in the first uh, couple months, right? <laughs> some lag. One away from fully booked. Ouch. Nice. On which phantoms to sacrifice? I sacrifice all my S tier phantoms. Um, they give more essence of life than the other ones and there's kind of no use. I use A tier for evolving, S tier for sacrificing, and SS tier if I need to go to Evo 3. Where are we getting the packs? In the store, yeah, Eagle Girl, in the store, there's a $100 pack um, that gets you a skill up, which is what we were talking about earlier. <laughs> oh, she's rare, Scarlet Dragoness. Too bad she's not good. Yeah, use the A tiers for evolving um, up to Evo 2. Once you want to go to Evo 3, you need the SS tier. I've made that mistake way too many times. Yeah, the fire cleavage champ uh, is rare. I, it took me about, well, maybe it was just me, but it took me about 800 books to get her for the first time. She was one of the ones I didn't have in the grimoire. The I think her name's Scarlet Dragoness. Some people, you know, just don't get certain phantoms, so... I do have a list on my tier list on my spreadsheet um, that goes through some of the rare phantoms. You can see right here. These are the ones that I'm telling people to keep. Scarlet Dragoness, Swordsman Guard. These are the rare ones. Uh, these two, I still don't have a Shark Spearman actually, <laughs> an SS version. That list is, um, if you go to any one of my YouTube videos, I have that spreadsheet in the link um, in the description.
Do you wait until your phantoms are maxed out until you evo them? Hey, Trilio, thanks for the follow. Another career. It doesn't really matter how you do it, um, Kronos. You can do it either way. Sometimes, um, sometimes I'll do the evos first. Like when I got Goddess Zoe, I was really excited to build her, so I evoed her all the way up to five, and then just leveled her up. You can do it either way, though. Wow, there's a man, another one. Gotten so many mystics. Oops. No one rare yet. Another mystic. Still don't have my Sea Conqueror maxed out either. Need a couple more skill ups for her. Team Synergy video. I kind of made one like that. Uh, it's called Increasing Your Team Power. And in the beginning, I pull up my tier list and I go through, you know, who you should choose to make a good team. Um, so you can check out that one for sure. It's, uh, I think it's called How to Increase Your Team Power. That's a good one for Team Synergy. Once they um, update some of the skills, I'll uh, I'll do another updated tier list and make another video similar to that. I'm hoping they do some uh, rebalancing soon. There's some things that are different, uh, Kronos. There's definitely some things that are different, like gear, for example. Um, Five-star gear isn't always better than four-star gear, so... That's like way different compared to raid. So there is definitely some things that are different. Accuracy and resistance don't work quite the same. Um, like accuracy is not even required for attack power absorb uh, attacks. And resistance doesn't seem to be helping that much. So there definitely is some differences. Other things are similar. you're off by five degrees <laughs> let's see am i not oh i'm not right in the circle all right we gotta we gotta get right in the middle there we go Taco, Taco is supervising. <laughs> hey, Jack, thanks for the follow. Appreciate it. Welcome, Jack.
<laughs> he's, he's working on the fun task of evoing. I can't wait till they add that new system. It's uh, wow, two SSC warriors. The new system is going to be huge. I'm. Uh, I just got my goddess Zoe to Evo six, and my god, it just took hours. There's a Haley. <laughs> I hope they add that new Evo system pretty soon. Nine hours for Evo 7. My god. I don't know that Scarlet Dragoness is very good. She's rare, but I don't think she's very good. I would not recommend using her. Yeah, it's rough. I don't even have an Evo 7 yet. That's my next, uh, I'll work on getting Ankaris Evo 7 next. Exactly, Big Daddy. Some of the rare phantoms are not very good. Another mystic, nice. The only way I know what's rare is just because I hadn't had one yet or I just noticed which ones are very rare for me to pull. They are implementing a system that will have a star value next to each phantom and that'll tell you how rare they are five star being rare three star being you know not so rare etc so they are implementing a system i think it should come with the evo system would you use the ssc for attempt skill yeah that's what i'm that's why i saved those uh car Seder. I was saving my um, Sea Conquerors so that I, because I don't, my Sea Conqueror is not max, so I will use those S tier to try to get a skill up. Yep, that's exactly why I skipped them. Is there anything worth building a second copy of? No, because you can only use one Phantom. So, uh, one Phantom of each type. So, there's no point to build two out. Especially because you can just change runes for free in this game, so there's definitely no reason to build two. Hey, Airborne. Not much. I have not pulled anything crazy yet. Haven't pulled anything rare even, really. So, just the same old so far. Yeah, the S copies, it's hit or miss. 10%, it's okay. You do get a decent amount of them, so... I mean, some like one time I put in four S copies and I got like three skill ups. I was like, what? <laughs> what are the odds of that? Very low. I just want a King Arthur. I think that's the only, the only rare phantom I don't have. It is the only rare phantom I don't have.
I'm uh, maxing one of every single phantom. So that's what I do with my SSs. I just eat them into other phantoms. So I have one of each phantom locked, and I am trying to max the skills on every single phantom in the game. Just in case they do a rebalance and, you know, they end up being really good. I'll have one ready to go. Otherwise, there's not much to do with SS phantoms. If you pull a lot of epic books, you get so many SS. Um, do we know when she's coming out? I haven't heard anything. They don't really give us any ETA for new content in this game. You know, developers for other games, sometimes they'll give you, you know, a heads up on when stuff's coming, but here, it seems like you just don't really know when stuff's coming out. Another Sea Warrior. It's funny, depending on the day, it seems like you get more phantoms, uh, you know, compared to other days. It's kind of interesting. Still nothing crazy. King Argon's actually pretty decent. Hits pretty hard. I used that as my very first Phantom in this game. It was the first SS I pulled. <laughs> She's supervising from another angle. I got burned like crazy yesterday for Easter. It was uh, it was sunny out for once, but you know, living in Michigan, I didn't think I'd get that much sun. But I got I got pretty burnt. I don't know if you can see. Can you see? Oh yeah, you can see. <laughs> look at that farmer stand. Oh, look at that a jester. Don't get him very much. Chronos, I don't know how many total are available. There's like, I don't know, maybe 40 roughly. I was going to say, you got a sunburn cleaning your house, huh? Must have a lot of windows. <laughs> I get this guy so many times, Fear Demon. I get a lot of SS copies of him. <laughs> nice reference. Wow, you had snow, crazy. Yeah, this year's been really warm for us here in Michigan. Usually doesn't get this warm this early, but we got a lot of, uh, 
you know, the ice melted on the lake a lot sooner than normal. And I still haven't got anyone cool. Come on, give me something before the day's over here. Another fear demon. So am I. I love seeing the lines and people just going to the back and waiting in line. It's awesome. I'm a Detroit area. Yeah, I live in uh, Ann Arbor. There's a Merlin. Oh, SS Merlin. I like it. All right, I'll take that. That's cool. There's a skill up for my Merlin. Nice. All right, that's the best thing I've pulled so far. For sure. I will take that. I really want to build out Merlin. Oh, uh, Zimmerman's. Everyone loves that deli, yeah. Yeah, it only took 150 bucks to get something useful. <laughs> You must live in Michigan, Big Daddy. Seems like you know a lot about Michigan. What's stopping me from building Merlin? Uh, just because I don't... I'd like to get, you know, my main team up to Evo 8 um, so that I can, you know, mess around with some other phantoms after that. Oh, nice. Nice. Yeah, I didn't go to U of M. I live not too far away now. Gotcha. There's another shard. I wonder if they'll ever add like a 10 pull of epic books or something like that to make it go a little bit quicker. Am I full finally? Or is it lag? All right, I think I'm full. All right, give me a minute. Look at all these SS's I have now. Holy crap. Look at all those. <laughs> so many. Bear with me. Uh, right now I'm just sacrificing these for Essence of Life, Eagle Girl. Um, otherwise, if it's a Phantom that I'm really having trouble booking out, you know, increasing the skill ups, I will use them for that, like Sea Conqueror. I won't, um, I won't sacrifice these uh, Sea Conquerors here because I'll use them to try to get the skill ups. I still don't have my Sea Conqueror maxed out. Otherwise, the best thing to do with S champions is just to sacrifice them for Essence of Life. 
It's also the fastest way to get these out of your inventory. So that's nice. Okay. The extra SS, um, that's a great question. I don't really know what to do with them. I think I can sacrifice them, but right now I'm just using them for skill ups. I'm gonna max out um, I'm gonna max out every single phantom in the game just in case they get buffed and they're good. So that's what I'll use them for in the first place. Um, but once they're maxed all the way, I don't know what to do with SS. I mean, you do need them for evolution. So, you know, once you're trying to get those Evo 3s so that you can build them up into, you know, Evo 6, Evo 7, you will need a lot of SS copies for that. So, yeah. You're saying you got... Uh, Lord of Shadows, Haley, Sea Conqueror, Lunar Goddess, and Zeus. I would go Zeus. I would get Zeus um, Evo 4 next. Zeus is going to be your damage, and he also puts Paralyze. Zeus is really good. Okay, I'll do it, Yutaka. Oh, look at that. Another rare one. Bloody Overlord. Okay. I got two copies now, or three copies now. Yeah, I'll do you for sure. Let me finish these last couple here. See you, Kronos. Thanks for stopping by. I already know you'll beat me, Taco. You're faster than me. Another bloody overlord. Wow. I hadn't got her in like so many books and then now I've pulled four of her. That's crazy. Yeah, we'll see here in a minute, Taco. I could swap my... Um, Exiled Berserker is good too. I could swap my runes around and make my Sea Conqueror like extremely fast. I have some really good harvest runes. I have one harvest rune that has like 30 speed on it. Another Exiled Berserker. Yeah, Exiled Berserker does hit like a truck, for sure. You just gotta build a lot of HP. And crit damage. And crit chance. <laughs> I know, it'd be cool if we could dance in game. Eagle Girl, what are the other ones you're using with that team? It depends on who you're using. I use Lord of Shadows in my main team, but I think I like Zeus more. Depends on the other 
three you're using, though. Zeus is really good because Paralyze is so strong and he hits hard. Paralyze is 20% uh, reduced speed and 20% increased damage taken, so Paralyze is really strong. I was considering swapping out my Lord of Shadows for Zeus, but I'm not sure yet. Maybe just my Sea Conqueror. Yes, um, Paralyzed does hit immune targets also. That is that is part of the reason why it's so strong. Eagle Girl, I'd pull out Lunar Goddess. Man. Uh, yeah, I'd pull out Lunar Goddess, and I'd run Lord of Shadows and... Um, who are we talking about? Zeus. And Zeus. You could also pull out Haley if you wanted and leave Lunar Goddess in. I would leave Sea Conqueror... Lord of Shadows and Zeus in for sure. I'd use those three. And then either Haley or Lunar Goddess. I'm assuming you have your your uh, Haley in um, Headcracker runes, the stun runes. That was a really good on her. I never built a Haley. A lot of people were uh, raving about Haley. She's definitely, she was broken in the arena, like stupidly broken, but I just never built her. She was one of the very first phantoms I maxed out too. Your Zoe's in Headcracker, interesting. I have mine in Squall runes. I just, uh, I just maxed my runes on my uh, Zoe and she hits hard now. Especially in Arena. She's probably awesome in Headcracker and Arena too because she's really fast. Zoe has one of the highest base speeds. Be a good stun champ. Yeah, Ankh is awesome. Ankaris is who I, uh, that's my main damage dealer. Ankaris and uh, Zeus actually go really good together because Zeus takes, I'm sorry, Ankaris takes two turns to ramp up. So Zeus can get paralyzed on the target before um, Ankaris uses her uh, seven hitter. Those two actually work well together. If I were you, Eagle Girl, I would use Ankaris. Zeus, Sea Conqueror, and Lord of Shadows. I think that's the team. I just don't like Haley really that much. In PvE. She's good in PvP, but not really PvE. There's just too many things that are immune to stun for her to be that good in PvE. Another Jester. Alright, almost. 
almost done here. Another uh, Dracula Eye. Dracula Eye is never another phantom that I never really messed around with very much. Yeah, no problem, Ego Girl. That's what I would use. Hey, Barb. Welcome. Yeah, I used Jester in the beginning a lot, but his whole skill kit is just based so much on RNG that it's annoying. I mean, sometimes he can do some great things with the stun, the AoE, and he actually hits decently hard, but just so much RNG. All right, there's all my pulls. Let's uh, let's uh, dual taco here. So here's what I don't know. I either just go right now and see who I could wipe out or I wait. I'm going to try to hold off. See if I can get a freeze off. Yeah! <laughs> All right. I think that might be game. Let's see. <laughs> I got some lucky freezes off on you. You want to try again? I got to freeze off again. And stun. That's gonna hurt. <laughs> Your Zoe has ninety six percent resist. I've still I've froze her every time. That's kind of funny, actually. Yeah, that's why I've been targeting your Zoe first on the freeze. Nice. 
Nice. I finally built out my um my Zoe. I had her runes not very far max, but my um wow lag. I finally got some of these maxed here. I got some decent runes here that I maxed out. That one's pretty nice, a lot of speed. Eagle Girl, thanks for the follow. Appreciate it. Yeah, I haven't I only basically have runes on my 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 goddess Zoe and my Ancaris. I'll show you my Ancaris runes too. She's in all speed runes. Um she's got the four piece harvest set, so. Like I could like this rune is crazy. I should probably put this on my Sea Conqueror so that she can go super fast. Twenty two speed. I have some really good speed runes. All right, now what? Um, does anyone in the chat need help with anything? Um, anyone want to do some instances or anyone need help with some stuff in the story or anything like that? Or you guys want to see something different? You want me to do more arena? What do you guys want? Yeah, I have a lot of speed, especially on my Ancaris. I'm using the four piece um, harvest. It's funny because the rest of my, um, I'm curious if I can solo easy um, Ghost Vault. I do do Ghost Vault, but I normally do it in uh, in a squad. I'm curious. Let me go try, actually. Uh... Let's see if I can do normal. Yeah, we could run people through if you want. Yeah, that works. Does anyone have uh, Story 10? Does anyone have Story 10 unlocked and they can actually do Ghost Vault? Oops. Well, of course you have, Taka. <laughs> okay. Do you need, um... Do you need to do Ghost Vault runs, Taco? We can just do that if you want. I need some, uh, I need some gear anyways. I'm sure some people would, wouldn't mind watching. Did that work or no? Am I lagged out right now? Sorry, invite me again, Taco. You can't bring people along unless they, uh, can you can anyone come in? They have to unlock it first. They got a complete story of ten, right? Really? Okay. Alright, well first person to say something gets to go in. First person to say anything. They can come with us, as long as they're on server one. Something. <laughs> All right, Car Sarder. Car Sader, you're first. <laughs> Are you on server one? Nice. 
guys. Karsa Tier. That'd be so funny to boost your free to play. <laughs> I thought you had to unlock 10. Guess not. Clearly, you don't have to. We're in here. Is this, like, too loud? Triple and Karis. Nice. I've only seen one person with that Galfrey new. I'm not sure what that is. Anyone can make guilds in here, so I have a feeling that someone just made uh, made that guild, and they're probably not affiliated. Oh, there's two? Okay, well, maybe. Oh, someone said that they're a feeder guild. Which weapon are you using, Taco? And why? I've, I've never seen someone not use the ice, ice dragon spear or whatever it is. Frost saber or whatever. What is this thing called? Scarlet Saber, huh? Ice Dragon Saber, yeah, that's what I thought it was called. <laughs> I'm gonna have to check out that uh I'm gonna have to check out that weapon Scarlet I'm, I haven't even read that I haven't messed around with any weapons really Scarlet Saber huh um, you can do it either way, Burger TV. You can either level them up. Right now, I have um, I have two Evo fives and two Evo sixes. Um, Evo five is pretty good for support. You may only want to take your supports up to like Evo five or Evo six, and then just work on your damage carries like Ankaris. Some people take Ankaris right to two hundred, and then leave the rest at Evo five or six. So, either way. 
Yeah, I have been keeping one of the five. If I got a five star legendary or epic, I have been keeping them. So I got those six stars coming. This is uh, one big thing I like about this game over Rage is just being able to do something in a party with other people, you know? If I could have any four, I would probably use the four I'm using. <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm using Ankaris, Goddess Zoe, Sea Conqueror, and Lord of Shadows. Zeus might be better than Lord of Shadows. I'm not sure. I might swap in Zeus for Lord of Shadows one day. Just for that Paralyze. And Zeus hits really hard, too. That's the four you're running? Yeah. I really want to build out Merlin. I feel like Merlin's gonna could be really strong. I haven't seen anyone who's built out a really strong Merlin. What the hell just killed me? There we go. Yeah, I know. After I um after I made that spreadsheet and looked at everyone's damage based on, you know, their base attack and everything, Merlin was like the second hardest hitting in the entire game. Darth Grimm and Darth Grey, yeah. I know, I saw Hal Hades, he commented on my video saying, uh, hey, everyone thought I was a joke for, uh, <laughs> you know, talking about Merlin, but that's funny. Merlin can be really strong just because he does so much damage and he has that attack bar absorbed, so pretty cool. He'd be really strong in arena. Make him really fast. Bloody Over Overlord right now, he hits really hard, but he has to be hurt. To, he has to take like 40% of his damage to hit the hardest he can hit. So I just think it's too, too RNG based. You know, you got to take too much damage for him to hit hard enough. I was hoping too, because I got bloody, now I have like five bloody overlords. So I have a lot of skill books. Bloody Overlord is pretty cool. He has that built-in lifesteal on his A1, I think. Or is that Dracula? Maybe that's Dracula. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. 
He just, uh, unless he takes a lot of damage, he doesn't do a lot of damage. But if he's taking some damage, then he does hit like a truck. There's one, in story 10, you have to fight two bloody overlords. And if you damage them and then they get a turn, they just one-shot your whole team. It's <laughs> kind of broken. There's one uh, phantom I want to try is Karur, the K-A-R-U-R. -R. He, he's like a little mini Ankaris, but he also has decreased speed in his kit, and he has the highest speed in the entire game, and he has a passive that gives him more speed. I think he would be fun because he would just attack like a million times. I'm going to have to build him for fun. I was considering building on my uh, free-to-play account because I, I obviously don't have Ankaris there. <laughs> I I really can't wait till they do the the phantom rebalance too. I hope they make some of these um some of these worst phantoms a little bit better. Tea time. All right. I always miss tea time. <laughs> yeah, tea time like golf. I'm actually playing golf in uh in an hour here, so I got another little bit and then I gotta get off. Playing my golf league on Mondays, although is it still raining outside? Looks a little better. We just play nine every Monday. <laughs> Not tea time yet. Ain't no problem. You want to do more tacos? Is that it? Hey, Brigger, thanks for the follow. Appreciate it. Who's next? All right, next person to say 
Eagle Girl, you just said something. You want to come in here? Eagle Girl, you on uh, you on server server one? All right, snooze, you lose. Next is uh, East Coast. East Coast X. Are you on server one? Ah, uh, okay. East Coast X, is that your uh, in-game name? East Coast X, all right. <laughs> oh, he's summoning right now. There he is. Thanks for driving, Taco. Appreciate it. <laughs> okay, no problem. Yeah, I'm happy they did the Easter event. That was pretty cool. We got a lot of materials, even on the free-to-play account. That was huge. So many um, Evo, so many Evo materials. The rank one materials. Those boxes were pretty nice. It's getting hot in here. I'm happy I waited. I was tempted to not wait for the event because it seems like it wasn't coming. <laughs> it took a while for them to put it in, but I'm happy I waited. I would've got it anyways, just because of how many, since I ended up buying all the eggs. Yeah, I was really holding off because everyone kept saying that they were going to, uh, you know, have it. I think, what was it, 25,000 diamonds, I think, was the max. They had been talking about it for like three or four days before, so I wasn't sure if they were ever going to open it. How many people we got? Oh, we got some good amount of people watching. That's awesome. I'm with you, Burger. They need to have a way where you can like mark them or tag them or lock them. Cause right now it's aggravating. What I ended up doing is just, you know, basically just eating all of them that were not legendary. 
and I just save legendaries and then every once in a while I go through the legendaries and feed the you know the flat stat ones but yeah that is aggravating they got to add something there is it I wonder if that's in the suggestions What do you do? Just upgrade each one that you like one time just to mark it? I was thinking about doing that, but it takes so many mats even just to get to like level one sometimes. Yeah, it was not, <laughs> they they had it in battle assistant for like I feel like it was there for like an hour and I I managed to do two full runs in that time of 80 runs each but yeah, that would be nice to have that back. That was very useful. Cuz otherwise I got to sit here for hours and hours um you know, using blue stacks. Yeah, same. I mean, it's so easy just to leave it in there. I'm surprised they removed it after. Like, who cares if people want to use their vigor on that, you know? <laughs> Raise this gaming. Thanks for the follow. Appreciate it. Yeah, I think a lot of people will be happy when they bring it back. There were, <laughs> I was on the Discord when they took it away, and there was like, you know, like 20 people who were like, hey, why are we bringing this back? That was awesome. Bring it back, please. I don't know why they got rid of it. They said they were testing it, but I don't know why they need to test it. I'd be okay with that burger. I'd be okay with that. And it's, I don't like to, you know, do that quick complete. It's so expensive and so many diamonds. Hey, Burger TV, are you on server one? Do you want to join for the next one? You've been doing a lot of chatting in my uh, stream. I appreciate that. Oh, you're Benny B. Okay. You want to join us for the next one? I think I got time for one or two more. And then I got to start getting ready for golf.
<laughs> yeah, I already paid. It's my uh, golf league that I'm playing with my dad, so. It's finally getting nice here, although it was beautiful yesterday, and now it's been raining all day. Looks like it stopped, though. <laughs> Thanks, Razius. Yeah, I don't know why it does uh, dark side. I don't. I don't. It doesn't work any different than any other feature. So I don't know why they did add it and remove it. I've played a lot of golf. I've been a big golfer for uh, a long time. I almost went to school to become a, a PGA golfer, actually. Yeah, I've been. I did a lot of uh, rich goblins today as well. Golf school, yeah. There's a school in South Carolina that teaches basically courses on how to become a PGA professional. Still got to pass the exam. Ah, okay. This is your last run. Okay, no problem. Haven't uploaded in two weeks, you slacker. <laughs> Yeah, do it, Razius. There's not a, uh, there's not that many content creators really for Summoner's Glory. There's only a couple of people that make videos and stream that I'm aware of. All the big streamers that do it, they just basically focus on raid and then they make a Summoner's Glory video like, I don't know, twice a month. Seems. Arc, nice. I haven't played that game. I heard it's pretty cool though. All right, let's see if we got anything good. Friend request. I just accepted. Yeah, thanks, Taco. Appreciate the help. Thanks, for everyone, for joining. I'm just going to mess around here for a couple more minutes, go through my gear, and then I'll probably be off. Let's see what we got. Give me those Legos. Nothing. How do I have these three stars in here? <laughs> what the heck is that from? Oh, I ran my alt through earlier. Did I get anything useful?
Okay. Well, I'll probably end it here. I appreciate everyone joining me for the stream. We had quite a good turnout here. Yeah, we got about 20 people watching here. So appreciate that, guys. I am off. I'm going to go get ready for golf. So, all right. If you haven't already, go ahead. Check out my YouTube channel. Subscribe to my channel. It'll be a huge help for me, guys. So appreciate it. All right. See you, everyone. I'm stopping the stream now. Have a good one. See you guys.